Well, of course, what's interesting is the polls consistently show that Americans are pretty evenly divided between two basic approaches to constitutional interpretation. One is so-called originalism, which can either be the original meaning or the original intent of those who wrote it or framed it or ratified it, depending on which version of originalism you adhere to. And the other half would think it should be a living document and we should breathe new meaning into its words. And Americans are pretty evenly divided, actually, between those two interpretations. What I think uh, is a little misleading is even those people who believe in a living document, very few of them believe you should disregard the text of the Constitution. Most of them believe that when you interpret words like liberty, you have to breathe life into them and understand liberty as we understand it, not as they understood it, and that they gave us general language on purpose, they could have given us very specific language, and that they understood that they were pledging us to adhere to a concept of liberty, but not their concept of liberty. There clearly are some people who believe that uh, you can uh, interpret things like freedom of the press uh, in a more capacious way than the founders would have. I don't think people who believe that we have a broader understanding of freedom of the press now, I think they're being unfaithful to the original text. I just think that they believe that the founders gave us a principle, they didn't give us a blueprint to implement the principle. And, and there was some recognition that the blueprint to implement the principle would change at different moments in history. Because for instance, it doesn't say anything about the internet, but most people assume that you have some kinds of free speech rights in cyberspace. It doesn't say anything about phones. It doesn't say anything about uh, emails, but again, or television or radio, but the general sense is that those uh, medium are covered under the press and the press is not restricted to hand cranked uh, print. And uh, of course, one of the great con law uh, uh, games to play with students is to say, uh, pose the question, is the Air Force unconstitutional? Because although the Constitution provides for the Army and the Navy, uh, it doesn't actually provide for an Air Force for obvious reasons. So does that mean actually we have to disband the Air Force because the Constitution doesn't allow us to have one? So again, one can, uh, uh, one can take the Constitution literally, as some do, but I think most people uh, tend not to take every word of the Constitution literally. Uh, most people fall somewhere between a radical originalism and a radical living Constitution. Uh, most people are definitely in the middle on that one.